Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about the new uh, 7.4 rewards. I know I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, wait, what? Okay, this dude's just standing on the screen. All right, but um, 7.4 rewards, basically the gist of it is it's going to be a 3 to 4 crystal, like with a rank up gem in it, with a random class. I'm actually fine with that. Um, I watched Legacy's video on it, and he pretty much said the same thing as me, or, or I believe, like, for me... I'd rather them just give me something, because if they just gave me a generic, I really wouldn't know who to pick, so I'm fine with them just giving me a class and just saying, go. So, I'm just going to go over my six stars, and, um, and I haven't uploaded in like nine months, but whatever. Um, but, so you guys haven't seen the updated roster. Um, I, I don't know what the last thing you saw was, but this is my roster right now. These are all the rank threes. We got Cosmic Ghost Rider. We got a Cosmic Ghost Rider a few days ago, so that's pretty hype. Um, so yeah, these are the, these are the six stars right now I'm working with. So when I get the 100%, I'll do a crystal opening, because, you know, I know, I know YouTube likes that, and that's minimal effort for me, so why not? But in this video, I'm going to talk about basically which class I'd pick for the three to four gem, if I had one, um, for each class. So, wait, I actually, I did not know my Immortal Abomination was rank three. Okay, so for science, um... So, the only rank threes I have are Abomination and Spider-Man. Um, if Miles was... I mean, not Miles. If Void was duped, maybe. But he's not. So, eh. So, I'm leaning more towards Abomination. I don't use him for anything right now. But I don't know he's a really good character. So, it'd be him or... He's probably the best time to have. Yeah, I don't have Human Torch. So, um, if I got Human Torch, it would definitely be him 100%. Any other science characters I'd really want? Nah, not really. So yeah, it's pretty much between Abomination and Human Torch, but I don't have Human Torch, so if I got a Science one, that'd probably be one of the worst classes to get. Science is probably the class I want the least, but I don't know. Um, yeah, so Abomination would probably be the rank 4. For skill, I have, um, I think the best option for skill is either Aegon or Shang-Chi. Aegon for the next Everest content, or whatever, but for the first rank 4... You know, you want a character that you're actually going to use for, like, questing and stuff, and it's probably not him, so it's probably not going to be Aegon. I'd love to awaken Shang-Chi and give him rank 4. He's only rank 2 right now, but he's definitely one of the best characters on my roster. But more than anything, I'd want Nick Fury, dude. If I can get Nick Fury from the Act 7 Rewards opening, or just from any opening, I'd be so hyped, because he's such a good character. I'd definitely give him an Awakening Gem from the 7.4 Rewards, and I'd gladly take him to rank three, uh, 4. So, yeah, um... Nick Fury, definitely um, top pick, but I don't have him, so if I had to do, if, if I had a skill, I'd probably give it a Shang-Chi, honestly. Shang-Chi or Hitmonkey, I want to, my rank 4, I want to have them awaken, just so it looks way better, because, you know, unawakened looks kind of scuffed, but, meh, um, you know, what are you going to do? Alright, so, next we're going to move on to the mutant class. This class is very, there's a lot of good characters I have in this class. Um, honestly, I don't know who the best is, honestly, because I would say, I was using Magneto, but I don't have him as a 6-star, but I used my 5-star Magneto a lot, and then, like, recently, I haven't used him, like, at all, so, I, I don't know. I have these 5 rank four, uh, 3, so these 5, you know, from Apocalypse to a Mega Red. If I awakened Apocalypse, I might give it to him, but right now, I'm leaning more towards Archangel. I don't really use... Cable, Colossus, or Mega Red for anything these days. And Archangel is just one of those characters that's just always so good for end game content. There's always going to be some hard fights that are bullied and poisonable, and you can just completely just turn off the right Archangel. He's one of the he's one of the few mutant characters that actually use all the time still. Most of these main characters I don't really touch that often, so I'd probably give it to Archangel if I got it. Honest to God, because he's just so just so good, just shreds everything. Now Cosmic. My cosmic class was looking a little weak recently, but then I um, duped my Vision Arcus and I got Cosmic Ghost Rider. So if I got the three to four, uh, I'm definitely taking Cosmic Ghost Rider. I think because Corvus, he's like the king of AQ. But as you can see, I'm in the Savage Toby retirement home, so we don't do AQ over here. Um, so yeah, I don't really use Corvus that often. He's still really good. So he's probably my second rank four, but. Uh, if I didn't pull Cosmic Ghost Rider recently, he'd definitely be the first one. But Cosmic Ghost Rider is just so 
such big numbers when I was using him in questing just now. He's only rank two. When I get him to like rank four, oh my god, it's gonna be beautiful. So yeah, Cosmic Growth Shadow is gonna be the one I give it to. Tech, just ghost. It's just gonna be ghost. Like that's just not much competition. Guillotine in Warlock may be more competition filled if I had them awakened, but they're not even duped, so I'm taking Ghost up. She's our, she's the only one that I have duped. And she's Sig 100. And she's the best character in the game. So, or one of the best at least. I don't know now. I haven't played too much with the new meta, so I don't know if Hercules is better or whatever, but I know Quake has kind of fallen out of the meta because people have rank four or six stars now, rank three. They're not really using five stars anymore. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't, I, don't, I don't use Warlock or Guillotine enough. It, it's just going to be Ghost. I'm not going to argue it. It's going to be Ghost. And then for Mystic, uh, it's probably going to be Doom. I mean, yeah, it's going to be either Doom or Black Widow, but. Black Widow is better for my mastery setup, and she'd probably benefit from the rank four more than Doom, just because, you know, her damage is the only thing that I feel is kind of lacking with her when I play her, so the rank up would help her. Doom, I don't really use him that much, but if I'm going to quest, I, I mean, I run Suicides, so Clairvoyance is probably a better pick, but when I run, like, a quest, and I only need Doom for, like, one or two fights, the Suicides don't really matter that much. I mean, he gets the fights done that I need him to with or without Suicides. And, and he's, you know, he's one of my only... Yeah, he is my only SIG 200 6 star. So if I ever join an alliance in the future and get back into the game, which probably won't happen, but if... Never know. Um, rank 4 SIG 200 Doom would definitely be nice for Prestige. Prestige is... Uh, 1200. Not... 12,500. Not, not, not that bad. Um, but not that good either for the end game because I've been kind of absent in the end game recently. I haven't really done much, but, you know. Whatever. So those are probably my picks. So just to recap... Abomination, Human Torch if I get him, Chong Chi or Nick Fury if I get him, uh, Archangel, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Ghost, and probably Doom. So yeah, I'm excited for the, what is it, 7.4 quest. I don't have that many units because I haven't done Arena in years, but, you know, hopefully it's not that bad. Um, I'm looking forward to the. I'll do a reward opening. I'll save the completion and exploration at the same time. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.